ThingLink allows you to create a link to anything on the World Wide Web. That means you can include audio in your multimedia graphic. If you find an audio clip on the World Wide Web that you'd like to link, just copy the web address and paste it into a link, and users will jump to that page to listen. You can also embed sound right on the page, similar to a YouTube video, with a SoundCloud account. Let me show you what that looks like. Here's a multimedia image I created around the idea of struggling for justice in the social, in the civil rights movement. I wanted to let users hear the sounds of the civil rights, so I used SoundCloud and embedded the sound right on the page. Just scroll over the image and then click here to hear the sound. So let's learn how to embed sound into a ThingLink image using a free SoundCloud account. You can sign up for a free SoundCloud account at www.soundcloud.com. When you log into SoundCloud, you will immediately land on your dashboard. To record a sound or upload a sound that you've recorded elsewhere, click on Upload and Share from the navigation bar at the top of the page. Here you can choose a file from your computer or go ahead and click on Record. It will ask you twice if you want to record. Click the Record button and begin. You can see that you're recording now because the bar is moving. You can see the length of your recording as well. When you're done, click Stop. You can listen to it, start over, or upload your recording. To upload your recording, you just need to include some a small amount of information here and then go ahead and upload it. You'll notice that you can make the settings public or private. The setting has to be public in order for it to work on ThingLink. Once your image is uploaded, go ahead and click the Share button to grab the link. You'll notice here is where you grab the link. You can make it short so it's easier just copy it and then return to your ThingLink image. Select the edit icon from the left side of the screen, draw your link, paste the address and again it says that this will be a SoundCloud tag so it knows what it is. Choose your icon and write a short description. Save it, save it again, and listen to it. 